Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom at home and Shabbat Shalom here in this home. We hope that, uh, that, that all is well in this moment, though we know that there is so much strife in other places and our hearts are conflicted. We're, we're so thankful that you're with us this evening. And I thought I would start with just a very short passage from Mordechai Kaplan, which, which spoke to me about an artist, right? That an artist cannot be continually holding their brush an artist has to stop painting at times to freshen his or her vision. And living is also an art. And that we, we try not to become so absorbed in its technical processes that we lose our consciousness of the general plan, so we pause. And Shabbat represents those moments when we pause in our brushwork to renew our vision when we stop so that we can think. And then having didn't done so, we take ourselves to our painting with a clearer vision and renewed energy. It's important for us to pause and see the greater work. And this applies to the individual and to the community alike. So I thought it was such a beautiful metaphor for how we might pause on Shabbat. And then I, I know that, uh, that with our hearts in different places, uh, that we are wondering how to do so, how to pause meaningfully for Shabbat how to look forward to the animals that await us just after services for the Zoomobile, how to move into a contemplative and a joyful space at the same time. And I found this beautiful passage written by Rabbi Rachel Corbin about hope and love and thought it fit beautifully. May we have the courage to open our arms and our hearts to those who are struggling, and may we have the wisdom to know that we too need to be embraced, to be held, and to be supported. May we not shy away of our own human vulnerability, and may we also own and express our incredible power and use it for good. May we find the language to ask for help and the words to soothe and comfort others. May all who are hiding, scared, grieving in harm's way, may they be kept safe from affliction. May they know that people many miles away are holding them close. In a world that is struggling, swirling, tumbling, may we not lose hope. May we trust that it is in the darkest moment of the night that the light breaks through and shepherds in a new day. May we help to form that light. May we each trust that our acts of love and kindness, no matter how small, help the dawn of a new reality to break open this world. So let's turn to the kindling of the Shabbat lights let us look and feel and pay attention to and be illumined this Shabbat as we turn to the kindling of the Shabbat lights, page 120, as we say, as these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we by our own lives give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we in our own day be among those who kindle light. Please join me. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher kideshanu b'mitzvotah, v'tzivonu, le'ad l'ikner, le'ad l'ikner, shel Page 123, as we rise for Kiddush, as we lift up the day, lift up Shabbat. And please be seated, please be seated. Page 124 as we continue. May this space be wide enough 
to receive all who hunger for love, all who are lonely for friendship. May it welcome all who have cares to unburden, thanks to express, hopes to nurture. May it be narrow enough to shut out pettiness and pride, envy and enmity. May its threshold be no stumbling block to young or straying feet. May it be too high to admit complacency, selfishness and harshness. May this space, may each of our spaces, this holy space be for all who enter the opening to a richer and more meaningful life. Let us continue as we welcome the Sabbath bride. We'll turn to page 138 for the singing of Lecha Dodi. And it is, as you know, our custom to sing verses one, two, five, and nine. And at the, the final verse, at verse nine, we all of us rise in body or in spirit and we welcome the Sabbath bride. And I invite everybody who would like to move around, clap your hands, tap your feet, snap your finger. You can even dance on the aisle, it's Shabbat, and we rejoice on Shabbat. So feel free to move around, clap your hands, dance, and celebrate Shabbat. seated. We turn ahead to page 263 as we continue with the Chatzi Kaddish, 263. <laughs> Page 264, in body or in spirit, we rise for the call to worship.
Together, Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher B'divaroma Ariv Aravim, Bochma Poteach She'arim, Uvituna Meshane Itim, Umachalif Etazmanim, Umesader Etakochavim Bamish Marotehem Barakia Kirtsono, Bore Yom Valaila, Golel Or Mipne Hoshech, Bachoshek Mipne Or, Uma Avir Yom Umevi Laila, Umavdil ben yom uven laila Adonai tsevaot shemo. El chai vekayam tamid yimlo chalenu leolam vaed. Baruch ata Adonai hamaariv aravim. In each age we receive and transmit Torah. At each moment we are addressed by the world. Together in each age we are challenged by our ancient teaching. At each moment we stand face to face with truth. In each age, we add our wisdom to that which has gone before. At each moment, the knowing heart is filled with wonder. In each, In each age, age the, children the children of Torah, of Torah become its builders builders and, and seek to set the world firm on a foundation of truth. Baruch Ata Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. as we continue on page 268. <laughs> Worship the power that unites the universe, a promise of harmony for all. Yet that oneness eludes our grasp, as imperfection and evil abound. Before our eyes there is a vision of perfection, order, and goodness. There is evil enough to break the heart, and there is good enough to exalt the soul. When will redemption come? When we grant everyone what we claim for ourselves. Long ago, we escaped the tyranny of Egypt, our people saw the power of the Most High. We learned God's presence redeems time and event, so we celebrate this power that makes for freedom.
לפניית יעקב. גלום יד חזק ממנו ברוך אתה אדוני גוי ישראל. of the Shema Hashkivenu, our prayer, our hope for divine protection as we sleep. We say, give us a place to rest, O God. Shelter us in the long, soft evening shadows of your truth. You are true protection and safety. In your presence, we find love and acceptance. Watch over us as we go forth. Prepare for us as we return. Spread over us your shelter of peace over all we love, over our Jerusalem and yours. Baruch Ata Adonai. הפורה סוכת שלום עלינו, ועל כל עמו ישראל, ועל ירושלים. Let's continue on page 272 with the singing of Vashamru. Vashamru Turning to the tefillah, in, in just a moment, we will, we will offer our thanks. We will offer our thanks for the generations that came before us. We will offer our thanks for the seasons. We will offer our thanks for any number of things that connect us to our ancestors, our present, and our future. And when we have the youngest family Shabbat service, our littlest ones, our bimbam Shabbat, we usually pause around now, uh, now and, and I ask those who are gathered to share something for which they are thankful this day, this week, this moment. So we're going to pause for just a moment and I'm going to invite you just to call out something for which you are or have been thankful this week. And I'll invite also Patrick for you to let the people at home join us. So if you are at home, please also share something for which you have been or are thankful this week. Say it a little bit louder. Yeah, please. Yes. You're thankful to not have to wear your mask anymore. Right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. What else? Right? That we are healthy enough to make this change, right? That we are strong enough that we've done so much of our community work to ensure that. Maybe not completely yet, but en route. Yes. Yes. What else? Sunshine. Sunshine. Amen. Amen. I'm, I make such a difference. I'm to, revise. to revise. Revise? Yes. Yes. Okay. Susan, yeah. Thankful that Fred's son was really sick earlier this week. He has you and that I have a Thankful for, for good, strong, or evolving good, strong health. Please, God, for someone who had been struggling. Thank you. Thank you. And especially a child. Thank you. Please. Grateful for your family. Beautiful. Amen. Amen. Trans I think you heard that at home. Transitioning to spring and warm weather. Amen. Amen. 
This side, yeah, yes. Esther. Malik's Hamantashen. They are out, right? They are out. Yes, what else? At home, we don't hear you. Maybe we might legitimately not hear you. Hold on one second. I am thankful for community. I am thankful for community and both the strength and the solace that community offers. What else? Yes, please. Temple Sinai and my cat. Temple Sinai and your cat? Yeah, usually separate sentences, but yes, yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <clears throat> so we'll give thanks and we'll continue to give thanks as we turn to the words of the tefillah. Page 273, we'll invite you please in body or in spirit to join us and to rise. Adonai sefat adiftah ufi agitehilatecha Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohei avotinu v'imotinu, Elohei Abraham, Elohei Yitzhak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarai, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Eliyah, Hail Hagadol, And please be seated. Top of page 279 as we continue together. Retse Adonai Elohenu, Beamcha Yisrael, Utvila Tambe Ahava Tekabel, Utihila Ratson Tamid Avodat Yisrael Amecha, El Karov Lechol Korav, Pene El Avadecha Vechonenu, Shafok Ruchacha Alenu. And we continue on the top of page 281. For the good in us which calls to us a better life, we give thanks. For the strength to improve the world with our hearts and our hands, we offer praise. For the desire in us which leads us to work for peace, we are grateful. For life and nature, harmony and beauty, for the hope of tomorrow, all praise to the source of being. For all these things, O Sovereign, let your name be forever praised and blessed. O God, our Redeemer and Helper, let all who live affirm you and praise your name in truth. Blessed are you, Adonai, your name is goodness, and you are worthy of thanksgiving. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hatov Shimcha Lechana Elahodot.
We pause for a moment of silence, of prayer, of reflection. Shalom. We'll turn our, our thoughts, our prayers, our hearts to, to those who are in need of healing and wholeness and strength, those who are en route, those who have perhaps turned a, a corner to wellness and who are not completely there, we'll, we'll keep them in our prayers. The many in our own community whose names we will share in just a moment, we'll keep those in our prayers. Those, who are, those whom we know and are in our circles, but whose names we've been asked not to share out loud, we'll keep them in our prayers the people in Ukraine, the people loving and caring about the people in Ukraine, the people in the surrounding countries in Poland and Romania and Bulgaria, the people who are caring and welcoming in those who are fleeing, over a million at this point. Let's keep all of them in our prayers. Along with Shana Esterbat Rochel, Sarah Bad Avraham Vesara, Alan Skirker, Laura Braun, Stephen Brent, Rainy Feingold, Irving Manis, Kim Stanger, Delisle, Gabriel Berger, Brian Mansfield, Michael Shartok, Miriam Nemitz, Casey Zachman, Ali Goldsmith, Barbara Petro, Valerie Brownstein, Liz Steinberg, Stephen Breiger, Claire Cowing, Linda Champion, Allison Rohr Sakelli, Sarah Postelnik, Stanley Nuskoda, Gwen Tucker, Yeda Fegala Butt, Yeheskel Betova Hinda, Steve Whitaker, Brett Farakas, 
Dennis Lenzner. If there are others whom you would add to this list or names that are better spoken aloud by you, please, as I look your way, please share those names with us. And from home, Michael Gamilla, Benny Kawazi, Wendy Rosenthal, Mr. Barak Avotenu Vimotenu, Avraham Yitzchak Viakov, Sarah Rivka Rachel Vilea, Huyivarech Etaholim. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless and give strength to those who are struggling. May the blessed Holy One be filled with compassion for wherever possible, health to be restored and strength revived. May God send swiftly renewal of body and renewal of spirit as we join together in saying, Amen. Amen. Page 371. <laughs> So the cantor, who many of you know, is from Ukraine. So I'm going to ask you, how do you pronounce, is it Teplik, the city? Teplik. Teplik. Yeah. What she said. Remember how she said it properly. This is a short story meant for our younger ones in, in, in the, the congregation tonight. And it takes place actually in Ukraine uh, and has to do with Reb Nachman. So in the early 1800s, a butcher from the town of? Teplik. Right, you heard that? Everybody say it. I didn't hear it. Teplik, yes, okay. Gave Reb Nachman of Bratslav, a city in Ukraine, a gift, an exquisite handcrafted chair. And everyone who laid eyes on this chair knew that it was something special. Reb Nachman loved the chair and he sat in it all the days of his life. One night, Reb Nachman dreamed he was sitting in his chair, this chair, as it flew through the clouds and carried him up to the heavens. In his dream, Reb Nachman saw himself approaching Jerusalem. But as he drew closer to the city, he woke up. Many years later, after Reb Nachman died, his disciples, his students, kept the chair in his memory and placed it in a most important spot, right next to the ark in the synagogue, where it remained for decades until World War II. And when the Nazis invaded, Reb Nachman's followers realized that in order to save themselves, they would have to flee, they would have to scatter. But what should they do, what could they do about the chair? They knew that they couldn't leave it behind, but they also knew that it was too large for any one person to carry alone. So what did they decide to do? They cut up the chair into smaller pieces and they gave each one of those pieces to one of Reb Nachman's followers. Finally, before fleeing, they made a promise to one another. After the war, they would meet again in Jerusalem and they would reassemble, they would rebuild that chair. Now, as everybody knows, the Holocaust was a horrific time in history and few Jews escaped unharmed. But every single person, every single one of them who carried a piece of that chair 
survived and arrived safely in the city of Jerusalem. And there, they reassembled that chair. And it looked exactly as it, as it had when Reb Nachman first received it as a gift from that butcher and first sat in it. And to this day, in the Bratzlav Synagogue in Jerusalem, you can actually see Reb Nachman's chair exactly where you would expect to see it, right next to the ark. This is a true story. Many of us here have roots in Eastern Europe. How many of you are Ashkenazi? And at home, so you can see it, so you show one another at home how many of you are, are Ashkenazi. It is in our sanctuary most, most, right? And our own Cantor Braun comes from Ukraine where this story and this sage, this true story began. But as others have said, it's not just a true story, it is also a truth story. Rabbi Sandy Eisenberg Sasso goes on to explain that every single one of us carries a piece of a puzzle of life's meaning. And you have to hold on to that piece of the puzzle with all your might, with all your soul, as if your life depended on it, because it does, she says. Some people carry more pieces of the puzzle than others, but no one person carries them all. There's at least one piece missing all the time. And only when you're remembering that you are carrying that missing piece, the piece that others may be looking for, and that they may be carrying the piece that you are seeking, will you arrive safely at your place of promise? And I thought, what a beautiful, powerful story for us to think about at this time when we wonder what we can do, knowingly or not. Imagine if somebody literally was working on a puzzle. For, for you who are, who are in school here, in, uh, still under, under the age of 15, let's say, how many of you have ever done a puzzle? And how many of you have ever, ever gotten most of it done, but just can't figure out where to find that last piece? Right? Adults, how many of you have had that moment, literally or figuratively? Every hand, almost every hand has gone up, right? Right? Each of us in some way, shape, or form has had that moment. And the story of Reb Nachman, this true story about his chair, reminds us that we never know who we are going to encounter, in what setting, and who might have that piece to complete our puzzle. A beautiful story from Three Time Chai, and I thought, uh, I thought it was apropos for this evening. Let us, let us continue as we, as we are looking long and we are looking at the whole community and we are celebrating. I, I heard that there was one birthday celebration online. It was a voice that I recognized. How many of you have a birthday in March? Okay, look around, friends. Look around and see who's got a birthday in March. Raise your hands again. And raise your hands at home so your friends can see. And let us offer you this blessing. Author of life, our times are in your hand. We thank you for the blessing of life and for everything that enriches our lives. We turn to you now with special gratitude to share in the happiness of all of those, all of you who are celebrating a birthday in the month of March. And we pray, be with them now and always. May they be blessed with health and happiness, with the strength to overcome any hardship which may come their way as we honor them for the gifts, the very special gifts that they bring to this sacred community. <clears throat> we celebrate reaching this moment and the continued unfolding of their lives. We pray that each day brings you an abundance. Each of you March babies, each of you March birthdays. Uh, we hope abundance of peace and blessing, good health and good strength, good journey and good circles around you as we all together say, Amen. Amen, Amen. And just before we offer the blessing to those who have a March birthday, raise your hand if you are under the age of bar or bat mitzvah or bar mitzvah, under the age of 13. <laughs> and we are thankful. We are thankful because you are the ones who remind us that we are never too old to keep working on those puzzles. You remind us what is important. You remind us what we can do, what we should do, what we might do. 
And we are so grateful that you are here, that you are joining us as well, as we offer those who are born in March and those who are not yet bar bat mitzvah an opportunity to receive this blessing. And adults who are with your, your younger ones, if you so wish, please put a hand on a shoulder, on an arm, on a kepi, on a head, as we will share this blessing. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Sheheyanu v'kimanu v'higiyanu v'zman hazeh Amen, 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 Amen And the priestly blessing? Zayan? The priestly benediction. And the priestly benediction, we offer you this threefold blessing. May God bless you and may God keep you. May God's face be turned to you and may God be gracious with you. know the fullness of God's presence, of God's countenance in all the places you go. May you be blessed with wholeness <laughs> and with peace. Amen. We join together in our concluding prayers, the Elenu, as we turn to page 586, and we'll invite you please in body or in spirit to rise. <laughs> Pages 598 and 99 as we continue thinking about our loved ones whom death has recently taken, those who died at the season in years past and those whom we have drawn into our hearts with our own. During the period of Shloshim, these last 30 days, we are mourning the loss of David Lovenheim, brother of Janet Irwin, Gerard Zamet, cousin of Rabbi Alan Katz, Lionel Hutkoff, brother of Rochelle Kressoff, and uncle of Allison Kressoff. This Shabbat marks a yard site and anniversary of passing for Simon Brightman, Ruth Buckman, Hy Feinstein, Robert Fleischer, Freddie Fox, Bernard Frank, Richard Friedman, Maur Maurice Friedman, Pavel Gorovic, Mildred Hill, Samuel Hyman, Richard Kamenash, Joseph Kellerman, Riva Kashenko, Raymond Coleman, Rebecca Hosmandel, Merle Locke, Kam Hung Lui, Maria Madonia, Recep Morel, Rose Perlstein, Mildred Rabinowitz, Michael Rutberg, Robert Silberman, Mary Jo Smith, Henry Stein, Henry Essex Stropnicki. If there are other names that you would add to either list or names that are better spoken aloud by you, please, as I look your way. And from home? Carol Friedman Felderstein. Cheryl Becker, Lester Goldstein. May their memories be for a blessing as we join together in the words of the mourners' Kaddish. Yit Kadal Vit Kadash Me Raba, Belma Divrach Yurte Vyamlich Mahute, Bachayechon of Yomechon, Ufhaye de Hol Bech Israel, Bagala of Isman Kari Vimru, Amen. Yehesh Me Raba, Mevarach Leolam, Olme, Olmaya. 
Vit parach vit tabach vit paar vit ramam vit nase. Vit hadar vit ale vit alal shmeid kudisha brehu. Le elami kol birchata vashirata. Tushpechata venechamata. Da amiran bel ma vimru amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shamaya. Vechaim alenu el kol Yisrael vimru amen. O se shalom vimramav. Huya a se shalom. Alenu vel kol Yisrael vel kol Yoshvete vel vimru amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us, to all Israel, to all who are mourning, and let us together say, Amen. 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 Please be seated. Please be seated. <clears throat> we hope that you will stay, stay just after services and join us for the petting zoo. Not something that we've been able to do in quite some time, so we hope that you'll join us just in the social hall. And if that's not your speed, that you will join and grab something from our gonig, something sweet on the way out, have something sweet at home to celebrate Shabbat. Tomorrow morning, we have a Torah study at 9.15, and then we have a wonderful opportunity, wonderful, not to be messed with, musician Charlie Kramer. If you have not heard him or seen him or learned with him or sung with him, he is spectacular, and we're so fortunate that he will be here with us tomorrow. Uh, and, and the cantor maybe can tell us a couple more words about Charlie Kramer just before we, we move on with the announcements. Well, he is, uh, he was born, um, uh, you know, like everybody else. And at, at the age of five, he was diagnosed with a blindness. And um, all his life, he was struggling. Um, not all his life, the first years of his life, he was struggling to to uh, uh, embrace his disability, and um, he did. And finally, he did through music and uh, through teaching. And he'll he'll tell you all about it tomorrow. Better than I am doing now. And um, I hope you can join us. And yes. he's uh, flying from California. Uh, he's um, it's a gift f uh, from the Miller Foundation, from the Miller family, and uh, we so glad that he'll be here with us. It's a wonderful opportunity to, to either join us in person or join us on Zoom tomorrow morning. He'll have a presentation as well. His music is incredible. He was just part of, he, he is typically part of the Song Leader Boot Camp that is run each year. And, uh, and it's, it's, a, it's a great opportunity. So please join us tomorrow morning at 10.30 as well. We have religious school, religious school on Sunday and then not to be missed at 2 p.m. the Celebrity Chefs Vegetarian and Vegan Cooking on Zoom, that event. And then at 7 p.m. Please join us as Cantor Braun and her colleagues from Ukraine will be uh, joining together uh, in, in prayer and in song, a Zoom event. You can find that information on our Facebook page, on, on our homepage as well. And it's, it, it will be, uh, again, like last night was, the community vigil, uh, an opportunity for us to unite uh, 7 p.m. on Sunday. Our, our, the Hartman class begins Monday night with, uh, with Rabbi Silbert and with me. Next week, we continue with uh, Erev Shabbat services at 6 p.m., Torah study at 9.15, and then we are starting Bar Bat Mitzvah, Bar Mitzvah services again. Yay, with Sophie Pincus, who's going to be called to the Torah as a Bat Mitzvah at 10.30 next week as well. And then we have a whole list of wonderful opportunities for Purim that are forthcoming. We'll be doing some learning together. In religious school, there will be the carnival. We'll have the Purim spiel. We're not going to give it away, but it's a must see the greatest Haman. You got to come. That is March 16th at 6.30 p.m. We want to thank Elise Wojciechowski for being our greeter this, mor this evening and, uh, and, and hope, that, hope that if you have any difficult questions, you will ask Elise and, uh, and that, that you will join us in celebrating Shabbat together as well. A couple of final announcements. Impact, Interfaith Impact of New York State, Rochester, uh, presents a program, Solving Poverty in Rochester, Universal Basic Income, on Sunday, March 13th at 2 p.m. You can see the bulletin or the website for that as well. March Padness, our collection of feminine hygiene um, uh, items each year through the Women's Chavara, uh, invites you to a virtual pad kit making party. Check the, the website to, to get involved. That, that supports those who are in need here. And this year, having spoke to, uh, to, to Monica, this year, some of what they collect will also go to um, either Ukraine or to the surrounding countries who are, who are being inundated right now with, with, uh, with refugees and who will need hygiene items as well. So some will stay here and some will go overseas also. 
There are many places for you to pay attention to that need, that need resources. Ukraine, top of that list. The World Union for Progressive Judaism, you'll find that information on our website. HIAS, you will find that information on our website. You will find, um, you will find other information. Please be prudent and be careful. Be generous as best you can in, in, in your contributions. Please be careful where you, are, where you are giving as well. Make sure that those sites have been vetted carefully. And look on our website for any other places to, to contribute as well. Any other, any other announcements? Announcements at all before we turn to Motsi. Join us as we give thanks for, for, for what nourishes and sustains us as we continue onward and, and working and being and celebrating together. <laughs> We'll continue with the song, Od Yavo Shalom Aleinu. Raise your hand, get it warmed up if you know the actions, if you know the hand motions for Od Yavo Shalom Aleinu. Adults, you have to raise your hands too. Okay, get them loose, get them loose, get them loose. We need a wiggle, we need a wiggle. At home, we need to see your hands wiggling for Od Yavo Shalom Aleinu. Why do we wiggle our hands? Because we bring peace through the work of our hands. We bring it from here, we bring it from here, and then we bring it together. And that is so desperately needed now. So join us in the embodiment of the prayer, Od Yavo Shalom Aleinu. Page 657. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.